In the next 24 hours, a judge is expected to issue a critical ruling in the lawsuit over masks in schools. Closing arguments wrapped up just hours ago. If the Leon County judge rules in favor of the state, mask mandates will continue to not be allowed unless there is an opt-out option. If he rules the other way, districts can decide whether to require students to mask up. The governor saying today he plans to take action if that happens. No, obviously, yeah, we, we'd appeal. Um, we have our attorney general here. Maybe she would want to weigh in on the legal component of it. But COVID cases continue to climb in schools, and the governor says optional masks might not be a part of the problem. News Six's Amanda Castro put the governor's claims to the News Six Trust Index. As school districts across the state defy Governor Ron DeSantis's mask ban, he's claiming children who can track COVID and recover don't need to wear masks in school because they have immunity. That's been absolutely demonstrated, and these school districts are saying, no, you have to wear a mask even if your parent doesn't want that. None of them recognize immunity conferred through prior infection. That is anti-science. Making these claims several times over the last couple of weeks, including today while in Orlando. Or my kid has inf- uh, immunity from a prior infection documented by all these different studies. You know, what, what possible basis does it serve uh, to take my right away and, and to make him do it? We took his claims to local doctors. That's old bogus. Pediatric pulmonologist Dr. Akinyemi Ajayi is a member of the Orange County Schools Medical Advisory Committee. He says it's true children develop antibodies after recovering from COVID. That immunity is expected to last only a few months, putting children at risk for reinfection or potentially spreading COVID to family members. He says it's important we all take precautions to stay safe, including wearing masks, especially those who aren't old enough to get the vaccine. Those of us that may feel protected, that may feel that we're not at risk, still have a responsibility to try and protect those who won't protect themselves or those who can't protect themselves. Doctors with Avon Health agree, saying masks are one of the tools we have to stop the spread. We believe and have said all along uh, that we, we really stick to the principles that we know work. Masking, social distancing, and hand hygiene. Dr. Ajayi adds by not mandating masks in schools, we're putting children at risk, saying we all have to do our part. You cannot combat COVID unless we have a unified approach. Based on what the governor says and why doctors say students should still wear masks in school even if they had COVID, we're giving the governor's claims a be careful on the trust index. Reporting in the newsroom, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.